Hello. I uh, was just showing this setup again here. Um, just wanted to show you how easy it is just to add a pulse width modulator control unit. Uh, here it is. It's real easy to make. Cost you about fifty-five dollars. This uh, PWM right here runs about thirty, thirty bucks. Uh, you got a circuit breaker, relay switch and amp meter. You can get those at AutoZone, eBay. Again, it costs you about $55. These are good. It really helps you control things. You can get your solution. Uh, you can get it dialed in just right. And you need to turn it down or turn it up a little bit. you got control of it. You can bring your volts down so that you have two volts per plate gap. Very important on here. Uh, when you do this you just uh, you can just turn the knob right here turn it up and down I don't know if you can see that or not but on the needle you want to turn it all the way up and then bring it bring it down and the needle starts to come down that's about where you want it set at. You're really going to be running about 80 percent on your pulse width modulator Again, there he is with the water pump, fuel cell, no holes. Uh, right there, got the solution container, also the bubbler. And the nice thing about this bubbler, you get lots of fine bubbles if you use an air stone in there. Just uh, get that on the inside there. Cleans the gas very well. Again, when you use this whole thing like this, set up um, on your car, you got control of it. It's really not very expensive. Um, the only hard part is the fuel cell, and I can make those. So, anyway, thought I'd show that to everybody. How easy it is to make a pulse width modulator that works uh, with everything here very simple system to set up and get a return on your investment very quickly with this um, and that's the name of the game is save some money